is a brief outline of the unification of Italy in 1870. Here, the five stages version based on the European history textbooks of the 19th century is suggested. Mark it that it is a quick brief presentation. The purpose and motive of the presentation are as follows. The presentation aims to provide an outline of the unification of Italy for students and teachers. The content can be used as a short note within a specific word limit. It summarizes the entire event and the roles and personalities involved. The full presentation script is available on a related blog, and the link is provided in the description. The description also includes a link to the text of a detailed answer that can be used for a longer response. Now, let me tell you the nature and source of the outline of the unification of Italy 1870. The unification of Italy was achieved through several stages. Here, the five stages version based on the European history textbooks of the 19th century is suggested. Giuseppe Mazzini the stage first. Mazzini led armed aggression against the Austrian occupation of Italian states but failed. He aimed to raise awareness about the need for a united Italy and succeeded in increasing nationalist feelings among Italians. However, he failed to win them over for the Republic of Italy. Camillo Benso, the Count of Cavour, and the stage second. Cavour's achievements included making Sardinia strong militarily and economically and uniting central Italy under the leadership of the King of Sardinia. Giuseppe Garibaldi and the third stage. Garibaldi's patriotism led to the union of Naples and Sicily with central Italy under the leadership of Sardinia. Victor Emmanuel II of Sardinia and the fourth stage. Victor Emmanuel II participated in the war between Austria and Prussia, which resulted in the transfer of Venetia to Italy, which completed the unification of Italy. Rome became the capital, and the Pope secured the Vatican and the fifth stage. In 1870, Rome was occupied and made the capital of Italy after a plebiscite.